This is one of those things where you see it and you're pretty certain it's going to suck. And yet there's one thing that gives you a glimmer of hope. Hmm. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the Batman v Superman Gauntlet Grip from Boomco. And I'm assuming there is a Wonder Woman somewhere because there's a logo right there and of course right there. And a very unenthusiastic looking, please just pay me now model. Which doesn't even look like she's holding the blaster. Interesting. And a DC Comics logo because why not? Conforms to the safety requirements of ASTM F963. Don't know what that means. And I haven't seen the movie. I'm not a huge uh, Superman, Batman fan or anything. I mean, I have dabbled in it. But I do know that apparently Wonder Woman only shows up for like 12 seconds. So that's worth making two blasters based on her, right? Agile and compact, the Gauntlet Grip TM is built for accuracy and stealth. Perfect for an Amazonian princess who needs to draw quick and fire fast. <laughs> Just hold it in your hand and feel the power! Jeez, they're pulling out all the stops with this one. Gauntlet Grip, Amazonian Bow. Amazonian Bow being a recolor of a upcoming Boomco Blaster called the Slam Bow, I think. Uh, it's a slam blast with a rotating turret, so I don't think anybody really cares. Sorry, Boomco. I love you, but you make some dumb decisions. Blast more with dart storage. Gauntlet shield. That's a shield, huh? Not only does it not have any kind of, you know, smart stick treatment on it, but it's not a shield. It is absolutely tiny. Would be fun to put a shield on that, though. And... Blast faster with easy to push action primer. Now this is what gives me the impression this can be primed one-handed. Not that it really matters all that much because it's a front loader, but still, not bad. And also the shape is pretty interesting for some kind of uh, construction. You load the dart, push action primer to arm, and press trigger to fire. And yes, there is a trigger right here. Hmm, will this thing suck? Only one way to find out. I am very, very curious. Very, very curious if this thing is any good at all. It costs about eight bucks and you can find it, as far as I know right now, only on Toys R Us's website, which is a major disappointment. And of course, here is our, come on, instructions with no smart stick target. What's the point of making the smart stick darts if nothing you sell comes with the targets it sticks to. Oh, hey, it's got a rail clip right there. That's nice. So you can put this on like a, uh, a Nerf blaster too, I'm assuming. Do I have one around? Let's see here. Yeah, it'll, it'll fit rather loosely, but since they're the same dimension, is there a way I can uh, clip it on there? Yeah. Apparently not, and I notice it has like a little locking lug. Hmm, that's not too bad at all. It's a thing, that's for sure. That's a, something you could possibly use it for. It'd look great on the side of like a rapid strike or something. The plastic is very uh, car-ish. It's very glossy with lots of little sparkles in it. And I mean, at least this decal work was done well. I can't see anything on the outside. It's not like it's a sticker or anything like that. It's very, very nicely transferred with the Boomco logo down there. Not that any of you care about that. It's time to see if this thing actually sucks or if it's worth using. Barrel fit is nice and tight as always. And I just remembered, I don't see any range claims anywhere on this box. Hmm. So let's see, can I prime it the way I think I can? That is a very, very, very short plunger prime. But yeah. <laughs> um, wow, that is not much power. Not much power at all. Huh. Let me see what the actual ranges are. Try that again. Sorry, you can't see this. I have to take my word for it. It is difficult to aim. Of course, uh, it seems like no matter how high I try to point it up, I still get the same very, very uh, not good ranges. I think on the website, 
it's set upwards of 60 feet. But I am, uh, I am definitely not seeing that. This thing is, like, it's not terrible, mind you, but it's not hitting as hard as anything like the, uh, the Thunder Cover and whatnot. It's hitting weaker than that, which is not good, which means we need to take it apart. See if we can upgrade it. Okay. Well, here are the internals. And it's uh, kind of interesting. So obviously you push that up and you have this tiny little plunger tube right here. And the catch is built into the top there. Let's see if we can finagle this out. And of course there's an L, L bend. Hmm, the catch doesn't seem to be a whole lot. That's it. That's the business end. And of course, of course the plunger head is peened on. Why wouldn't it be? Beefy spring. Not much of it. Would love to uh, make it hit harder. I'm not seeing any obvious air holes. It almost looks like this part on the back would be an air release, but it's not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Doesn't seem like it has all that much in the terms of uh, upgrade potential, unfortunately. And in the same breath, it is kind of neat because it is, of course, a one-handed prime and it's got an interesting grip and it's very, uh, while it is large and cumbersome in the hand, it is somewhat, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's minimalist. It's very, very low profile. You could easily draw this thing. And if you were to build it into some kind of little shield mechanism, that wouldn't be too bad. However, it's almost pointless to have a one-handed blaster. That is a front loader with a single dart and that plunger volume is not great. So unfortunately, I mean, for eight bucks, it's kind of a hard recommendation. If you think you can do with it, you can totally do with it. But otherwise, I'm just gonna say it. Hey, I don't really think this is something you need to rush out and pick up. Some of you will, of course, absolutely love this. And many of you won't give two tosses. And that's perfectly okay in this case. Not terrible, at least they're doing something somewhat unique. But at the same time, Little to no upgrade potential, and it's just plain goofy. The Amazonian Grip Strike, or Grip Shot, what the heck is it called? Gauntlet Grip, there we go. I wouldn't say you need to go out and pick this one. It is pretty though, I can't believe they call that a shield. Thanks for watching!